One thing that maybe people should keep in the back of their mind here for this part of discussion is obviously we have an obesity epidemic. More yeah. people are more obese than ever, but at the same time, and this is, should strike people as kind of strange at first blush. At the same time, people are often malnourished, meaning even though they're getting enough food to become obese, they often are have too little of certain nutrients in the body. And I think what you're starting to talk about here starts to get us thinking about how that can be possible. Well, also in, the, in addition to obesity increasing, and there's now 40% of the American people are obese, and it's gone up significantly since we published our first paper 10 years ago. And 70% of the America, uh, adult Americans are either obese or overweight. I mean, it's just, it's just staggering and it's getting worse. At the same time, inflammatory bowel disease is also increasing in the U.S. And so we, um, in doing talks, et cetera, we can plot because the data is available in terms of the amount of soybean oil consumption in the U.S. and you plot it against obesity. It's a correlation. It's a perfect correlation. It's a correlation. It's not causation. That's why we do the experiments, right? But it's really striking.